Hello, uh, Rob Watson here. Uh, it's Friday, it's the 18th of June, um, and I'm sitting outside Leicester Cathedral. Uh, and I thought I'd just have a go at doing some vlogging uh, and get out uh, to do it rather than sitting at my desk at home. Uh, so uh, the lockdown's kind of coming to an end uh, at the moment, and more people are getting out and about in Leicester. Um, I've just had a walk around the city centre and uh, I'll drop some video uh, snapshots uh, into this. One of the things that's uh, being changed in Leicester at the moment is the introduction of more pedestrian spaces. So some of the roads are being closed off. Uh, there's more segregation for cyclists. Uh, there's a lot of cones uh, about in the centre. Uh, and it hopefully, um, you know, if people take to it, uh, there, there'll be a lot less um, uh, stress created by the cars that kind of dominate the space. Leicester's pretty good for pedestrianisation as it is, but there's always areas that can be improved, I think. And one of the key areas that was done a couple of years ago that I really like is the Cathedral Gardens. And they really transformed it into like a lovely space of, you know, the, the, the flowers are, uh, and the, the planted uh, garden is, is really nice. It's really relaxing. Uh, even though you're close to a main road, which is just around the corner, uh, it's still got a kind of feeling of calm because it's away from the kind of immediate road and the, the road that was, the, the through road that's that's um, just in front of us there, that still um, gets a few cars going through because there's car parks and things, but it's calmer. Um, the way it's planted and the way it's arranged and it's got that kind of continuous, undifferentiated footpath and roadway, so cars treat it in a slightly different way sometimes. Some still drive aggressively. Uh, one of the, the complaints uh, that I've had and, and many others have had over the years is that drivers in the UK, and I've noticed this, whether it's just a temporary thing with coming out of lockdown, but drivers are quite aggressive. And they and for some reason in Leicester, people seem to drive in the wrong gear. Uh, in the you know they, They'll put it into first and zoom off down the road and try and hit 50 miles an hour and then have to brake suddenly. And it creates a kind of climate and a space you know which is very unfriendly and unwelcoming if you're not confident on a bike or something it feels very uh, potentially dangerous uh, and it's off-putting you know if you're older or if you've got young kids or something like that it's not something that you want to have to put up with you know have to na navigate and there's a phrase that was used by um, uh, Jane Jacobs in her book, The Life and Death of the Great American City, uh, which was, she said, pedestrians and people have to make marginal decisions. And what you, you make a decision on the basis of a kind of perceived uh, sense of um, uh, friendliness and welcomeness and uh, um, conviviality might be a, a word in a neighborhood or a street. But if that's taken away by a decision, say, to narrow the pavement or to increase the speed limit or to give more priority to parked cars and vehicles and things like that, all of a sudden it loses that uh, ability to capture uh, and nurture pedestrians. So one of the things I hope with that comes from lockdown is that we maybe begin to see um, our urban city spaces as more attuned to people and particularly as people aren't being encouraged to or being actively discouraged to travel around uh, with the you know with the pandemic uh, we've got to rethink how we use our spaces uh, and places around us now I've never learned to drive uh, I've never I just don't like it I don't like being in cars I don't like the, the thought of taking control of a car just doesn't suit me I like walking I like cycling uh, so I would like Leicester to be you know the nicest place that it can be um, and not worry about thinking that in order to have a nice life I've got to zoom off somewhere else and tour around and visit new places as nice and as uh, uh, fascinating and you know interesting as that is uh, and I still like traveling uh, I, we're just going to have to do it in a different way and when we get to places you know they're traveling around for the sake of it and perhaps one of the things you observe as you walk around the city center and any 
city centre in the UK really is there seems to be a lot of people just driving around aimlessly for, for no apparent reason you know they're kind of I don't know what they're doing and they're just kind of touring around the middle of the town uh, and just passing through and it seems to be a common thing for for people to just kind of tour through the centre well those kind of journeys you know, there's plenty of ring roads in Leicester there's plenty of major highways that get you to the major destinations like the railway station you don't need to be coming through the city centre uh, for any other reason than if you're if you're you're got business to do uh, and you've got you know loading or unloading of goods that you've bought from the shops if you're just passing through to you know drop off a friend even that should be discouraged now so you know, let's let's I'll keep an eye you know I'm going to start doing this on a regular basis and there's some areas in Leicester which are uh, are, are going to change and the interest in um uh, websites which I'll put a link to in the blog is about looking at uh, your pavements uh, that you can go and map your town your neighborhood and identify if it's sufficiently um, welcoming and has the capacity to manage people rather than vehicles so is are the pavements wide enough um, are the um, you know are, does the street need to be quieter what about speed limits you know 30, 30 miles an hour if you're a pedestrian is actually a very you know high speed uh, and quite off putting whereas you know 10 20 miles an hour is more you can make easier decisions about crossing the road uh, and hopefully maybe we can get rid of things like traffic lights you know I'm, I, I'm in I'm in favor of improving traffic flow and throughput it doesn't necessarily just have to be controlling people through you know traffic lights and things like that so this is just a few kind of random thoughts uh, I'm going to try and keep uh, doing this on a regular ba irregular basis I think um, and just see see what comes of it I don't know um, what the audio is like I don't know what me, if my phone's any good um, we'll just try it out and any comments any feedback uh, either contact me on Twitter at Rob W Media or leave a comment uh, below in the uh, comment section of the uh, uh, below this video or uh, if you want to have a look around my website and there's some things like podcasts there that I do uh, go over to robwattonmedia.net um, and if you want to go over to Patreon and leave a donation uh, I'm on Patreon as well um, you know, pay for a cup of coffee or something like that and keep a local business in Leicester uh, that I use uh, in, in business by me being able to go and buy coffee or something like that anyway, until next time uh, and hopefully the weather is still to improve through the day uh, as it's been raining for the last couple of days quite heavy we've had some quite heavy thunderstorms